Hey guys, I'm Glitter Valkyrie, and today we are going to celebrate Faye's fourth anniversary with lots of free summons. We have the Valentine's banner and Hero Fest and our free seasonal, and I figured that I would put all of those together in one video. So we will talk about each of the respective banners as we go along, and we can go ahead and start with the Love of a King banner. All right, so I think that we'll probably go for greens and reds today because that's where all the focus units are. And um, when I saw the characters for this banner, I will admit that I was not the most excited because a lot of them are not characters that I have much of an attachment to. But I will say that the fodder on this banner is absolutely amazing. Um, they brought a lot of new things to the table with the C skills for a lot of these characters, like with the savior skills and um, with that C skill for the duo. So if I get any of them today, I will be super, super happy. And that is a Lelina. <laughs> So let's go ahead and back out. And it is kind of tempting to spend orbs on this just because there's a ton of great fodder. Um, let's, let's go red. <laughs> and um, I did think about it, but Hero Fest actually has uh, more value for me because the duo is there. So I'm probably just gonna use my tickets and get out. And we get an Aries. <laughs> so it hurts, but we will back out. I did think about spending some orbs for um, for Alphonse for his tome for La Rochelle, but I did manage to get the um, Plegian torch for her, and it is absolutely amazing. So I kind of feel like I don't need it. And we get a Hana. So we'll back out again, and we have two more tickets to use, and one green. Perfect. It was kind of nice that they were color sharing on this banner because if you like all of them, it kind of does increase your chance just a little bit. Except that is a wrath. <laughs> all right, we'll back out again. And we'll use our last ticket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so tempting to do this full circle just because the fodder is so great, but uh, I feel like I'd rather use those orbs on Hero Fest. Three star. <laughs> and we get another Lelina. You know what? There was not really all that much that I wanted on this banner, so that's totally fine. So now we can move on to Hero Fest, and this is what I'm really, really excited about uh, because I really want merges of the duo, and I am willing to spend orbs on this. Um, so I think that we will try to snipe blue as much as we can today. So I guess I can talk about kind of plans as we go along and let's get started with Hero Fest. Okay, perfect, three blues. <laughs> I was so excited to see them on this Hero Fest, even though I have been burned many, many times in the past on Hero Fest and I've said that I don't believe. <laughs> but um, you know, every once in a while I do very well and there's no other way that I can get the duo. So we are just gonna do this today and just hope for the best. And if we don't have any blues, I feel like all the other colors have so much value. Um, I think that, oh, <laughs> we, we got a Lilith. Um, <laughs> that, that is joint drive attacks. So that's amazing. <laughs> Let's check her IVs. And she is neutral. That, that is perfectly fine. <laughs> and we will pull that next blue. So um, in terms of the other colors on this banner, I think if we don't have blues, we will go for Sheenon just because Deadeye is so valuable and I have so many archers that need it, like Krom and Lucina. And if we don't have colorless, I think I would go green just because I don't have Shamir. And lastly, I would go red just because, I, I mean, Sothis is always good <laughs> and Time's Pulse is really nice too. But yeah, I think they had a lot of great choices for this and I'm really hoping that we get, oh! Oh my gosh, <laughs> the duo came home. I, I am so, so happy with this. All right, uh, let's, let's check IVs. And they are plus HP. <laughs> so um, fun fact, I have never gotten the IVs that I want for them and all the times I've gotten them. Um, I've either gotten plus HP or neutral. And I really would like either plus attack or plus speed. So if I don't get that, I will use a trait fruit because I've been hoarding like a ton of them. <laughs> but I am hoping for a different um, IV one today. And so we'll go ahead and back out. And um, I think that I've covered all the units on the banner and I did just wanna take a moment to talk about all the updates that we got with the anniversary. 
Um, I really think that they knocked it out of the park this year with uh, my summoner and the new refines and um, the changes to the pool. Um, for my summoner, I think it's so fun that you can kind of customize and have like your own greeting. And although I wish that we had a couple more options for customization, um, I'm hoping that they do that in the future with like some skins and maybe a different hair color, <laughs> just because I want mine to look a little bit more like me. Um, but I think it's a great start and uh, that combined, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we got purple recruit. Um, okay. And he is a plus speed Burkut. I don't think he's very fast, but he is a very good unit. <laughs> and I had like no pity, so that's totally fine. So we'll back out and keep going. <laughs> and, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, oh, the changes with the anniversary. Um, I was really excited to see um, them add those special four stars because it was getting a little bit stale with some of the summoning and I think that seeing the smoke and the four stars and then that fun silhouette and not knowing what you're going to get, it just, it really livens things up and it kind of gives me a little bit of hope that maybe I will pull another Elise or, or Ephraim or Ninian one day. <laughs> so I was really, really happy with those changes. And we get an Obero. So we'll pull that last blue. And um, I think that that was probably all the things that I wanted to talk about. And we can move on to all of our viewer questions for the day. So if I do not get to your question, I'm so sorry. I will try to do it in a future one. And if you think of something that you want to ask, you can leave it in the comments with hashtag question and I will add it to my list. So the first question on my list today comes from Is Kenma. And they ask, do you watch anime? And if so, what is your favorite character or anime? So I have not watched anime in many, many years. <laughs> um, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we got Valoria. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this really does feel like a hero fest. My goodness. <laughs> and she is plus res. I, I will take that. Um, she'll probably be a merge for me. <laughs> so, so we can back out. I think. <laughs> and to get back to your question, um, I do not watch anime. And the last one that I watched was Sailor Moon as a kid. <laughs> and um, that's actually the reason why um, I like Sarah as much as I do. Well, part of the reason. Um, but she kind of reminded me of Sailor Moon and I loved that anime and character as a kid. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of how I feel about anime. But thank you for those great questions. And uh, the next question on my list today comes from Saki Lee, um, and there were a couple for me. And they are, what inspired you to play Fire Emblem in general? And is there a unit that you don't like getting pity broken by? All right. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it was another lucky question. We got another duo. Perfect. So let's check IVs. And they are also plus HP. <laughs> they really want me to use that trait fruit, but I do not mind. And we will just keep going. So for Saki's question, um, for the first part, I found Fire Emblem the way a lot of people did um, through playing Smash. I saw um, Marth and Roy and I thought these characters looked really cool. And then when they came to the States, I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I tried it out and I fell in love. <laughs> so, so that's how I found Fire Emblem. And um, then for the units that I don't like getting pity broken by, um, I think my obvious pick would be Surtur. Um, it was kind of a running joke on my channel for a while <laughs> when he kept pity breaking me. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I have never been Yilgard before. Um, <laughs> let's, let's check IVs. And she is plus speed, which I think is pretty perfect for her. Um, <laughs> since I had no pity, I'm super happy with that. So we'll back out. And you know... I think that we can keep going with the question about characters that I don't really want to get pity broken by. Um, I would say Surtur is a big one. Um, regular Edelgard, just because her fodder is not very good. Um, I don't really like to pull Nina because the fodder is also not good. And um, a character that I've never gotten but never want to get is probably Hubert. <laughs> so I think that we can go ahead and back out and we can move on to our free seasonal. There's so many characters that I want and also so many that I don't want on this banner. <laughs> but I think that Colorless will be my best bet um, when I look at all these characters. 
because really the only one that I don't want is Zane because he is a four star and I feel like he is fine unmerged. <laughs> so let's, um, let's redeem our free summon and just hope that there's a colorless or maybe a green there because I feel like there's good value there too. So let's do this. Okay, perfect. One colorless. Please don't be Zane. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the Zane fans. He just doesn't have a lot of good value for me. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you know what? I love my New Year's Plumeria and I might merge her. So this is really good. And I don't know if they have IVs. Okay, they do. <laughs> but I, I am more than happy with this. All right, so this was a very, very lucky, <laughs> lucky summoning session. And I hope that all of your tickets brought you everything that you were looking for as well. So again, best of luck. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.